Well, <laughs> we're starting the Shenny's <laughs> in a nice rainy, foggy day. So we've been in the Shenandoahs for a few hours and I thought there would be more bears. I have yet to see a bear and people say that they're everywhere. I haven't seen a bear yet. Hmm. Mama needs a bear. I need to see at least one bear. We got a little too close, <laughs> so we're just slowly backing away and gonna start making some noise. Hey, bear! We'll just be here for the day. I feel like this is so Shenandoah of the trail to wait until the Shenandoah is where I've heard there's tons of bears and I see a bear on my first day. It was a mama and the baby, and uh, me and Lord Hobo came upon it uh, while we were chatting, and it kind of was on the trail moseying off to the side, where we thought it kind of had disappeared into the fog, and when we got closer, we realized that it was just right off the trail, so we kind of had to back up just a smidge because she was just staring at us, and the, the baby, the cub, was just kind of peeking out like what's going on over there so we backed up a little bit took a good look at her and then started you know speaking very loudly singing and clapping and her and the babe kind of moseyed off into the fog so it was a really cool experience i'm glad i finally got to see a bear it's another drizzly day in the shenandoah national park well, we made it to our first wayside. We're at Loft Mountain Wayside. It's been a rainy day, so we're gonna hang out here for as long as we can and drink some hot cocoa. What a beautiful view of Natan. We're not even convinced that the Shenandoah Park is even real. It's been rainy and foggy. We're in a bubble. I'm in a bubble of emotion. Nine hundred miles! Yay! <laughs> Holy shit. Literally, that was the biggest pile of bear doo-doo I have ever seen. Wonder what hiney it belonged to. Probably a big one. Yo, yo, yo! So, day three of the Shenny's, and the rain finally stopped. And yeah, so hopefully we can enjoy the last couple of days of the Shenandoahs with some good weather. Guys, tell me why I freaked out and thought that was a giant snake. It's a rubber hose. I was like, what? <sighs> so today is just not getting any warmer. It's in the 40s and I ran into a Ridge Runner at a shelter and she informed me that the big meadow wayside is closed so I wasn't going to get to fill up on snacks and I was sad. But then she came back and she gave me a bag of Haribo dinosaurs. She said because she's off duty now she's allowed to give us treats and that just kind of made my day. So super big shout out to the Shenny Ridge Runner that just made my day. On day three, we finally get a view. It's freezing. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned at least once or twice before, but I hate the cold. And this is our, our fourth morning in the Shenny's and it has been cold. At least it's not precipitating. So that's positive. I am ready for some warm weather. 
also we were just hiking and we smelled breakfast <laughs> and we're following our noses <laughs> and we made it to Skyland Resort where we're gonna eat some food. What are you doing down there? <laughs> He's just... Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Go. We got miles to go. It looks like a hot tub. <laughs> Can I get a hot tub? Totally taking a picture of this. It looks like a luxury. Today, I am so thankful that the sun came out and is giving us all of the Shenandoah beauty. I feel so lucky. And the five straight days of rain made this all worth it. So, my shoe is an elbow shoe. That's a size seven and a half and a size what? 11. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. That would be a six and a half in minutes. Oh look, it's cute. Good morning. So, we're all almost out of food, but there's a wayside in seven miles this morning. So we can hopefully go get some breakfast and resupply some snacks and finish up the shenies since we are ready to get on out of Virginia. Even though it was a great state. Really had a great time. Lots of fun things to do here. It only took a thousand miles, but I see my first tick, and he has got to die. Well, it was very anticlimactic, but I guess we're out of the shinies. So that was a fun couple of days. So we made it to Front Royal and we're at the base camp, which is sponsored by the brewery, the outfitter, wine bar, and the Down Home Comfort Bakery. And there's free showers, free laundry, everything is donation based. When you come into Front Royal, you must come check this place out. It's amazing. We probably could have stayed in town all day drinking wine and eating ice cream, but we'd like to make it to Harper's Ferry before we stay in town. So Front Royal was beautiful and it was super hiker friendly, but now we keep a going. But I did get a shower, so that's always a good thing. just have days where everything hurts and nothing's okay I think that's the day got nauseous after eating lunch because it was blistering hot and then I had a pity party <laughs> and Binks saved me she allowed Love me to, a good pity party <laughs> she allowed me to sit there and cry for myself and she just kept saying you want some anti-nausea meds 
This is why you got to get yourself a good trail group. A trang. Trail gang. A tra oh, a trang. A trang. A trang. A trang. Trang, trang. <laughs> Just draining our legs. <laughs> Good morning. So, today we immediately are starting our day with the roller coaster. And uh, we'll be in quadruple digit mileage today. So, some good, bad, and ugly things going on today. You ready to sing? <laughs> You're singing. We are just outside of Harper's Ferry. Today is my 30th birthday. Happy birthday. Call me the instant you feel like you're quitting. Oh Bye, guys! Love you! I love it. Happy Charles, everyone! Bye! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> 